What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today I'll be going over how to use VBA to automatically list the last save times for all files in a folder. So let's get into it. Alright, so I've got my VBA editor on the left, got my Excel file on the right. Underneath of that I got my test folder that has three folders in it. Um, one's called some files that has some files in it. Another folder called more files with more files in it and then another folder called no files with no files in it. So what we're gonna do is have our macro allow the user to select whatever folder they want and then the macro will list all the file names and their corresponding um, last time saves next to them. So let's get into our code. Our code's gonna be called list um, last save times. And then we'll declare our variables. We've got my path as string, my file as string, a folder picker as file dialog. We've got sh as our worksheet. And then we'll have a variable i as an integer. So now let's set our worksheet sh equal to this workbook sheets and we can just go with one here um, that way if you want to change the name it won't matter whatever we call it but if you want you can also reference the name itself if you're not sure if the position of the sheet will change or not but either way um, and then we'll set folder picker equal to application file dialog and we got MSO file dialog folder picker is what we want alright so with folder picker we're going to choose our title let's just go with please select folder and then allow multi select we're going to set that to false so the user can only select one folder um, the button name let's go with confirm throw some exclamation marks in there um, so now if show is equal to negative one the only value you, it's going to be are either negative one or zero so if it's negative one that means they selected a file so then we're going to want to set my path equal to selected items one and let's go ahead and throw a backslash on there else we'll just end our macro and we can end the if here and then end the with as well so now if they've committed to choosing a folder we're gonna need to clear the previous data if there's previous data so let's go ahead and do that now so with our sheet we'll do sh cells clear contents That'll get rid of all the data. And then we can select, so for cell 11, let's go ahead and call that file names. And then for cells, huh. yeah, cells 1, 2. We'll call that last time saved. And then let's go ahead and just throw the folder location in there as well. So we'll do one dash four. So that means that file name should be here, one one, one two, last time saved should be here, and then one four, we're gonna have 
let's do location with a semicolon and then our actual location will be an E so we're gonna want to do cells 1 5 and then that'll just be our my path value and it, in case you have like multiple sheets let's go ahead and activate the sheet as well that way we're not messing up any other any other tabs you might have in your workbook so now we activate this sheet we clear the contents of the previous data we'll put um, file names here last time saved here location here and then the actual path here okay so now we can say my file is equal to direct so we're going to look at the directory and then my path and then we're going to set i equal to 1 and now what we're going to do is use a do while loop on my file so do while it's not equal to nothing so keep so we're going to go through every file in the folder and then loop it so what we're going to do is with our sheet cells i plus one and then one so that means we're going to be going down in the first column what we're going to want to do is put my file so whatever the file is the file name is and then we're going to want to open up the workbook And the file name is going to be the combination of my path and my file. And this is why we added that backslash to my path in the beginning. That way we only have to use my path and my file. Okay, I needed to I need to put an equal sign in here. Yeah. So with sheet cells I plus one, two, so now we're moving down column B. We're gonna do this. The value of the cell is gonna be active workbook. So the workbook that we open, the workbook that we find in the folder is gonna be the active workbook. And then we're gonna use built in document properties and it's going to be last save time and then we'll end the width and then active workbook we'll close it and we won't save any changes. So now we'll set my file equal to directory and then I'll be I plus one. So it'll just keep it it'll just keep moving. So then say there aren't any files in the actual folder that we're looking in we're going to want to have like an error message so that would happen if i was just one and, and always be so if it eyes eyes one here right and if i never increases that means there were no files in that folder so that means at this point in the macro if i is still equal to one then we'll just throw an error message in there so we'll just use a message box and say there are no items in this folder and if okay so let's go ahead and try to run this all right so run it's asking me to select a file so it says you see please select folder and then we've got confirm right here with all these exclamation points and let's go with the some files folder we'll click that confirm 
So now it's running. It's opening up each file to get the last save time. And you see we've got our location, we've got the file name, we got the last save time, but the format looks crazy, right? So let's go ahead and add a line of code here. So after we get the value for these cells, let's go ahead and change the number format and make it equal to month, month, day, day, year, year, or year, year, but yeah, year, let's, let's go with the year, 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 year to get the full year. And then we'll do hours, minutes, and then AM, PM. And you also see the columns never, you know, resize or anything like that. So let's go ahead and resize the columns. Let's do it after we finish going through the loop. So right here with our sheet, we'll just do range A, B. So these first two columns, columns, auto fit. And you also notice that while the macro was running, there was a lot of um, noise, like a lot of movement going around. So what we can do is just do um, application screen updating. We can make that false, so there won't be any screen screen updating while the macro runs. And just be make be sure to turn that back on at the bottom of your code. All right, so let's try running this again on the same folder. So some files, confirm. You see, you don't see a lot of that movement now. And look, we're good to go. We got the column width correct. The last save times look legit now. They make sense, we got our location. Um, let's go ahead and run it again. Except this time, let's choose more files. See, it's taking a little bit of time but it's working. There we go, all the file names, the last save times, got our location. And then let's go for the final test. No files. There are no items in this folder. Boom. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.